Good morning, this is your host, Lara Netherlands. Today's discussion will center on the development of the business environment in Hainan, as well as the travel retail industry. And so here with me today, I have Mr. Keith Tan, Vice President of Strategy and Business Development, China DFS Group Limited. That's right. A very warm welcome to you, Mr. Tan. Thank you for joining us today. Glad to be here. I'm very curious to know what are the future plans of the DFS group regarding business development in Hainan and what strategies do you aim to implement here? So our specialty is travel retail. So we've been in the business for many years and we have big plans for Hainan. So now we're working with our partner Shenzhen Duty Free on the stores and mission hills in Haiko. So we're adding brands to the property. At the same time, we're eyeing for more locations across Hainan to basically build a flagship store for our brand. As the world's leading luxury travel retailer, DFS has a distinguished reputation in the travel retail industry and is a renowned brand in the duty-free industry. So what benefits do you hope to reap from your participation in the first China International Consumer Products Expo? That's a great question. Um, we are known more so outside of China. I'm sure a lot of the Chinese consumer when they travel outside internationally they would find our stores one way or another yeah. uh, unfortunately actually our presence in china is actually very limited so we would very like to use this opportunity to tell the consumer to the world in china on who we are what are the stores that we have around the world what are our specialty what how, the type of elevated environment that we can create for retail yeah. so we want to use this opportunity to tell the people in Hainan, in China, what we do and what DFS is all about and our story. Mm -hmm. So we're definitely looking across Hainan for sure yeah. and outside of China, we'll find business models that will work. We have some competencies that translate well into airports, mm -hmm. tourism hubs. So these are opportunities that we're eyeing very seriously at this time. And um, you've already established a store at the Heiko Milan International Airport in Hainan. So I'm co considering the favorable policies of the Hainan free trade ports. I'm curious to know whether DFS has plans to establish a supply chain branch in Hainan. So we have, uh, actually we've been in Hainan for many years. I think yeah. our first entry into Hainan was 2005. Oh, as early uh, as that. Yes, so we, we took over the master concession in Haiko Airport and Basically, we took over. We, we did duty paid retail uh, for the entire airport, and then we turned over our space to uh, Hainan Duty Free and Hainan Airline in 2011. So they slowly converted the space into what you see today, into a duty free um, a retail operation. Um, and uh, does DFS intend to engage in negotiations with additional supply brands during the expo? I think. Um, Definitely, because I think the whole uh, brand community is here, will be here mm. uh, during the expo. So I think it's a good opportunity to meet the friends, partners in person, because honestly, we haven't done that in a while. So this is a good venue for us to talk further in our uh, current collaboration and also future plans in Hainan. So um, this is a great venue to see our friends and partners in person since the pandemic, really. Yes, mm -hmm. agreed. And I think face-to-face uh, -face communication always um, just streamlines the whole neg negotiation process. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Because at the Expo, we also will showcase um, some of the projects we have in the pipeline, uh, what we're doing around the world. So it will be quite a uh, engaging conversation with our partners and friends. And we are happy to be here already and really looking for more opportunities in this, on this island. Yes, I believe it will continue to grow even after the pandemic clears up. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, because there's so much attention being turned to Hainan. So I believe that will continue to evolve for you. Yes. And um, how do you perceive the role of travel retail in the future development of the Hainan free trade port in general? Mm -hmm. I think the travel retail is a low-hanging fruit because it's such an obvious extension of what a first example of what it can be. Mm. Because this is something that has been existent for the last decade 
you know, this policy of uh, uh, offshore duty free in Hainan. So expanding it with a headline saying the free trade port now we're expanding the policy, more business, more volume, so it's a low hanging fruit. But I think the free trade port has, is much deeper and broader than just strictly travel retail. I think using travel retail to sort of make it exciting for everyone who knows a little bit about Hainan mm. is a great strategy. Um, and also people like us who are in this business, we are exciting because it's great business, great volume, who doesn't want it? So in light of the fact that Hainan Free Trade Port is still in its early stages of development, what potential problems should the pioneers of the Hainan Free Trade Port pay attention to with regards to its future in travel retail? Specific to travel retail, <coughs> I think um, my personal opinion is the lowest hanging fruit now is to compete and really exemplify what the low price this policy can yield uh, to the consumer and it's logical because mm. duty free, therefore the price should be cheaper. I think as the competition rises, um, I think competing on price alone uh, might not be the best strategy uh, because this actually is conflict with the brand's own desire to keep brand equity for their brand for their products. So I think now is an obvious choice. Let's, let's move volume, let's be very exciting in promotions. I think at some point in the short horizon, I think the different operators start to uh, focus and invest on the customer experience and be obsessed about who are our customers, how do we serve them better, how do we build better stores, what are the better products, can they differentiate between products between the different operators? I think that's the uh, relatively short-term shift in focus that is necessary. Right. Mm. Mr. Tam, it's been so lovely to have you here in our studio. Thank you so much for sharing your insights with us today. Thank you for the invitation. And we're wishing you all the best with the future developments of the DFS Group. Thank you.